Missed out on the book last yeah. time. It's back yeah. and ten dollars off. Wow, that's a deal. I know. Wow. I know. Get it for the sticky it. ones alone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll be the best twenty dollars you've ever spent. Tell me about it. So look, here's what used to happen, right? This is just an al aluminum cookie sheet. Mm -hmm. Beautiful cookies that we've baked here. But look at this. When you try to move them, some will come off. That guy came off. But some of them are going to break, right? Because the they're cactus. going to stick. When you do it in the Dura Bake, this is your experience. I'm just going to shake it and look. You can just push them around and they move so when it's time to pick them up and serve them you pick up these beautiful cookies nice shapes Vanessa um, and all these beautiful shaped cookies you just pick them up and you go ahead and serve them so nothing will stick to your pans anymore even this Rochelle what is it mac and these cheese are mac and cheese you know this is this, in this is in the cookbook and normally oh. we do it in the in the round cake pan and we said how about doing it in a little muffin pan Definitely. portion you control on macaroni and cheese exactly. that might be the oh, best yeah. concept that I have ever heard of okay so sure. you're getting oh, yeah. the muffin <laughs> pan <laughs> let me show you everybody's getting five different pans in this configuration so those extra large cookies cookie sheets that the chef was showing you. You're getting two of those. So that's a $29.95 value right there. Then you're getting two of the rounds and that's what the chef was using to make the sticky buns. Oh, I'm so jealous yeah, right now. You're goodness. getting two of those. Then you get the muffin pan. Of course, the chef always gives you amazing recipes as well. This is a game changer in your kitchen. Get rid of the bakeware set that you're using now that is not maybe PTFE and PFOA free, that does not have this you know, incredible non-stick technology and even heat conductivity this will be your best friend. So the colors that we have, I know we have the gold, mm -hmm. we have the red, and we have the gray, are those the, or do we have all of them? We ha okay, we have the blue, we have the red, we have the gray, we have the gold, and I'm gonna double check that we have the green. Do Okay, yeah, that's what I thought, but we put up all the pictures, sorry. We just have the dark gray and the gold. I, I'm sorry fast. we showed you the picture, but all we have left is the dark gray and the gold. Okay. Well, look at this. This is a sheet tray lasagna, okay? Now, I'm popping it straight onto my trivet. Don't forget, that guy can get up to 500 degrees. But uh -huh. have a look at this. I give it a little shake, and then look, the whole pan slides straight out, all right? Wow. Now, wow. look at this. This is, you would think this is stuck, wouldn't you? Mm. But let me show you this. Oh You're gonna go ahead and pick this up. I'm gonna just go ahead and remove this lasagna. Have a look at the bottom of this pan. Oh my God. Even when you think it's stuck, mm -hmm. it just lifts right out, right? Like, I'm gonna pick it up again, slide it on out, oh and have God. a look at the cleanup on it, right? Once you yeah. get all of that tomato sauce, and I'm not even wiping it, I'm just sort of shaking it, and that sauce falls down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. But here's the important part. Imagine cleaning your lasagna, your lasagna dish like this, uh -huh. where you just get a towel, you go across, you give it a real quick wipe, and you've got pretty much a spotless pan. Yeah. That's how easy it is. Unbelievable, Put right? it in the dishwasher if you want to, but as you can see... You're not going to. <laughs> you just don't have to. It's the ultimate way to do what everyone's making, the kind of the one-pot meals right now. So the lasagna, you're definitely doing that. It is all of the baking uh, pans that you need. Two right. of the extra-large baking sheets, two of the rounds, all of them have that mm. non-stick technology that you will not find anywhere else on the planet. And then you get the muffin sheet as, or the muffin pans as well which I might point out, the macaroni and cheese you did in here, the amount of crispiness that you were able to achieve mm -hmm. putting them in the little cups was Look unreal. Look at this bread and butter pudding. Oh now, I, again, this is a sticky, sticky pudding. This chocolate keeping it all stuck in together. I'm going to go ahead, flip it out, have a look. See the oh pan? It literally just falls out, and every cake you bake will pop out the exact same way. The, your bread and butter pudding, when you break into that, sticky chocolate deliciousness. Absolutely fabulous. Oh Even nachos. You know, we've taken corn chips, melted cheese. Again, you give it a shake, you slide it out. Oh my, that's never going to happen that with the cookware set. caramelized cheese. <laughs> and this is the cleanup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You give it a wipe and exactly. that's it. Exactly. Um, uh, Janet in Michigan, welcome into HSN. How are you? Say hello to the chef. Good. How are you guys? Hello, Janet. Good. Um, I love your pans. They... they come out so clean oh, um, you don't you. have to grease them or anything and that is really nice when you start baking isn't that so candy. special <laughs> You know what, when you are baking, even if you're just doing cookies, the last thing you want to do is think, do I need parchment paper? Do I have to go find that spray? Do I need to get yeah. butter out of the fridge and wipe all over? I totally agree with you, Janet. What's your favorite thing to bake in them, sweetie? I bake a lot of candy, make a lot of candy for Christmas, and I do a lot in those, which 
comes out really clean and I don't have to pry it out. Mm. Right. And okay. that's when you can scratch. Sorry, I've got a mouthful of food. I, me too. I was like, you talk. You talk. Your turn. Your turn. <laughs> Janet, you talk. Janet, we're having fun. And we're, having, we're having a little um, snack as well. I, I have a question for you, though. Sure, my darling. I would love um, your uh, round cake pans in a nine inch. Oh, um, good idea. I make a, I make a three layer a German chocolate cake. Oh, yum. Uh, and I need nine inch ones. Janet, I need an invitation to your house. You right. make your own candies. You're, you do you're a welcome any time. That sounds good. I know, right? At Christmas mm. time with the homemade candies? Yum. Wow. Janet, that's a great idea. Rochelle, let's put that in the okay. think in the think tank. We've got, to, uh, we've got to go and have a look at some recipes for nine inch cakes because Absolutely. I like your idea, Janet. Thank you so much, sweetie. Yeah. Janet, thank you so much indeed. All right, well, our two colors are remaining. We have the gold, we have the gray. You, you saw how the muffins just fell out of they that muffin pop tent. on out. And yeah. you know, look, this is a traditional one. Let's see if they pop out of that. They don't pop out. Nope, they oh. sure don't. Yeah. Well, a few oh. do. Oh, but look, this is what see? happens so often. You shake it, and then the base of the cake is stuck in there, so you end up tearing the muffin, which yeah. is horrible. It's, you've gone to the you... effort of doing it. You don't deserve that to happen to and you. And that's a nightmare. Like, you will scrub it and let it dry, and there'll still be stuff dried in there. It's just a nightmare. Look at the chefs. Look at... <laughs> with a knife. Look at the <laughs> chef's muffin tent. Every single thing came out. So you get that, the two cookie sheets mm -hmm. and the two rounds. Madonna in Virginia Not is to shopping with us tonight. Hi, Madonna. Hi, guys. How are you all? Hi, Madonna. How you doing? I'm doing good, and Curtis, you are a lifesaver. No. <laughs> my, I, have, I have bought these pants for my niece. She recently mm -hmm. got married, and she brags on them all the time. And then I have a son that recently started cooking also, and he thinks everything has to be turned on full speed ahead, so sure. nothing he's, he's ever like me. or burns with him. <laughs> <laughs> You know, what you're seeing right now, Madonna, is standing roast of beef, you know, brisket, mm. things that are slow cooked on this for hours and hours, and it still holds up. It still just slides out, and that's what's so important. Your nephew sounds a bit like me. I like to cook things on nice high heats, too. And, right. <laughs> you know, when nothing sticks, you can afford to do it, and that's, that's the cool part about it. Yeah. Now, everything you have, have, I have the peelers. They are great. I have, like I said, I have the... The frying pans, I have the bakeware. It's just, everything is just exceptional. Uh, well, Madonna, thank you so much for calling us. You sound as sweet as pie, my darling. You really did. Isn't that a sweet accent? Marcus. Thank you, Madonna. Well, the, yeah, the bakeware set it. is limited. It sold out last time. It will sell out again. So don't hang up in the ordering process.